Hello and good morning uh, to all the respective uh, participants. This is Mohammed Azib, and uh, I welcome you all to the in-house training, which has been organized by Oriental Public School, Kishanganj. Firstly, I would like to uh, express highly gratitude to the dignitaries of this esteemed institute who has given me an opportunity to uh, present this uh, in-house training which is effective communication skills. So, starting with uh, one of the iconic person uh, who is the highest spiritual leader of Tibet, and he is none other than the Lai Lama. So uh, he is having his own perception, his own thoughts related, uh, related with uh, the communication. And uh, in his quotation, he says that when you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. But uh, you listen, uh, you may learn when you listen, you will learn something new. So that's very much true. And uh, when we talk, we uh, means whatever the knowledge or whatever the bulk of knowledge we are having it in our brain or whatever the, whatever the perceptions we are having it, we are just repeating again and again on different circumstances. But if we are going to attend any of the seminars or any of the, uh, or we have been blessed to be uh, one of the audience in somewhere. So we will learn different uh, things as like vocabularies means uh, we gain uh, many different languages or we can gain the facial gestures which have been used actually by the uh, speaker. So that's very much true and we learn. So it means a sense that actually uh, we also have to be a good listener uh, beside then a speaker. So further, we are moving on the next slide and that is actually a question slide which is having a question and that says that what is communication? As today's training topic is communication skills and we have to uh, speak in an effective manner so that we can become skillful in uh, effective communications. So communications is actually the transmission or the transfers of ideas or thoughts so that uh, the senders and receivers share the same understanding. Okay, and uh, it only takes place when the ideas from your mind are transferred to another's and arrive intact, complete and coherent. As you know very well, that people have different perceptions, means they uh, view the things in different manners, they visualize the things in different manners, they understand the things in different manners. So due to which it is our responsibility and it is uh, very essential for us to communicate effectively with each other. In short, if I say, it will not be wrong that uh, we can say communication would come in effective when the sender and the receiver in the communication listen in, uh, carefully 
and to what all have been said. And side by side, it is also the responsibility. That is not only the responsibility of the speaker, that is also the responsibility of the receiver that uh, he shows some body gestures uh, through various uh, signs or he should show the senders that he is being listened, which will help in motivating the sender um, and it will help in effective communications. And one thing is very much clear that uh, issues create, this uh, concept create and we may have clashes in every sectors. So uh, the, um, actually the matter is that uh, whenever the sender wanted to communicate is not reached in exactly the same way to the receiver due to which argument of confusion creates. So it is very important, it is very essential, it is very vital for each one of us to communicate effectively. And uh, before concluding this uh, particular questions, I would like to say that uh, if we communicate, we can get by, that means, when you communicate, things will happen, no doubt. But if we communicate skillfully, you can work miracle. And means we can speak effectively and skillfully. Thus then, things work. And impossible things also works, which seems to be uh, impossible in the beginning, seems to be possible at the end. And miracle happens. Magic can happen. And uh, that will run on and go on very smoothly. So concluding this particular slide, I would like to say that effective communications is very important for all of us. Now moving on to the next slide, which is actually the most important ways to communicate. Okay, so you can see as uh, on the slide or on your screen that uh, there are several ways to communicate uh, through different modes, through different mediums and through different uh, ways uh, we can communicate to people. Okay, the so first one is about the spoken words, which is also been considered as verbal communications. So what is verbal communication? So verbal communication is uh, communication through language. And that is a person, uh, whatever he has, he's trying to share the same things to words. And to the other person, clarity is the main part of it, of the language, which he has to choose, which is very essential. And because of that, things is passed on to the receiver. So this has been considered as a verbal communications. Second uh, mode of communication is a visual images. That visual images uh, includes all the graphic, uh, graphical, uh, graphic representations uh, through slides. Okay, and uh, then it can be through animations. It can be through graphs. It can be through a pie chart. Yeah. Okay, and uh, any forms of uh, graphic representations can be included in visual communications. Now we have uh, the third uh, way of communication or the third medium of communication, and that is actually uh, written record. And let me make you remind that written record is generally being preferred in business sectors and business organization, only and only to make them uh, have the written records. Okay, to make them as a proof or to make them as a evidence in their uh, uh, files or in their documents. So let's take a look what is uh, a written uh, record or what is being considered as a written communication. So these communications can happen in the forms of letter, in the forms of documents, in the forms of report or in the forms of letters as well or in the forms of articles. Okay, and it is very important as I told you just now that uh, it is very essential, it is very vital in business organization. And why so? Because hence it is uh, helping keeping um, the records or the evidences. Okay, uh, so business organization generally prefers or business sectors generally prefers uh, this kinds of communications. Moving on to the uh, fourth uh, ways or fourth medium of communication and that is a body language. So body language uh, or verbal, uh, non-verbal also we can consider it as, okay, which uh, don't have any words, only and only the gestures and the expressions can be involved in it. So that uh, body language or the non-verbal communications uh, is a communication through uh, gestures, by motions, by feelings, 
towards the other person so whatever the feelings the person has that thing can be expressed by the use of uh, facial expressions or by gestures or by body languages so this uh, forms of communication is known as non verbal or as well as body language communication now moving on to the next slide and uh, in that we'll take a look at how the process of communications uh, follow okay and how the flow of communications happen from the sender to the receiver in that while what things are happen so uh, this uh, communication starts from the sender side and the sender is one who wants to communicate the receiver okay and uh, the sender has some ideas might have some views might have some informations uh, which he has to express on to the receiver so so he gathers all ideas and thoughts and encode them you can see encode encode in the sense uh, transmit okay and code means transmit uh, the ideas and then the receivers in such a way that the uh, receiver can understand uh, what he wants to communicate what he want to communicate then after that uh, um, we can see that uh, it is the duty of the um, uh, sender to choose the proper channel means the proper language or the pro proper way of uh, language which uh, the receiver can easily able to adopt it okay after that uh, there are various mediums of communications we know very well in the next slide also that there are four ways of communicating uh, to others whether it may be in a oral whether it may be in a non verbal whether it may be in a verbal in a bodily language as well as in a gestures or maybe in a um, written records okay uh, uh, showing the graphical uh, representation means in a visualizing form so uh, the speaker uh, should have to or the sender should have to choose the appropriate uh, means of communication and it can be in a written it can be in a oral or whatever communication is being used by the sender should be um, keep the receiver in mind and uh, should communicate to the receiver in the same way now when the information is passed on okay as you can see when this uh, information is been passed on to the receiver the receiver um, decode it decode it means interpret the message and he tries to understand it whatever is being said by the sender if there is any doubt in his mind of the receiver then uh, what will he do then he will surely going to make it clear first of all from the sender side okay and the finally we will send the feedback feedback is very essential is very vital in communications feedback actually is a medium or is a source so it is been known that uh, whatever the sender uh, wanted to say would reach or not to the receiver in the same way so feedback is very essential feed as well is very uh, vital in the process or in the flow of communications and uh, through this only we can able to uh, know that uh, the communication is a healthier communication or whether it's a misconcept or whether it's a poor communication okay moving on to the next slide now now so uh, moving on to the next slide and that shows actually the importance of effective communication skills and how uh, effective communication skills affect your life and why it is so essential okay why it is so important why it is so essential so uh, looking up to the points that uh, the first point says that effective communications helps to understand a person or situation in a better way okay in a sense that steady work flows means there will be no confusion there will be no argument between the person and hence the work will flow very smoothly 
Okay. The second point says that uh, it enables us to solve the differences, build trust and respect in the organization. Means you will have a better professional image wherever you are working as a teacher or maybe as any other profession. Uh, so it may have a build up in your uh, image, a build up on your personality, a build up on your uh, professional skills and all. So if we are able to communicate effectively, then we will be uh, able to create a good image in the organizations or maybe uh, wherever you're working for, uh, which will be very effective for all of us. The third point says that sometimes our messages is being misunderstood or we misunderstand the received message. But due to effective communications, it helps us to resolve problems from both points of view. So uh, if we are a good communicator, if we are effective communicator, so we will become also a problem solver and will also deal with the problem solving them. Problems actually would uh, be solved only and only because the person is just communicating properly. Okay, and the receiver is getting exactly what the person is saying. There's no any chance of uh, confusion, no any doubt, no any misconcept, no any misperceptions. Okay, and automatically the person or the problems will be solved, means automatically the problem will be sorted out. The fourth uh, point says that effective communications is very essential or it's very important because it helps us to connect well with colleagues, teachers, parents, and, and with the belongings as well. It not sense that you are getting the corporations. If you are communicating very well, if you are using the effective communications, Okay, if you are share, uh, communicating effectively with uh, someone, if you are passing your message properly or in a proper manner or in an effective manner, then uh, you will get the cooperation, the coordination. Okay, coordination, uh, wherever it may be in school or whether it may be in office. And it is very important to establish a strong relationship also. And the last but not the least, uh, the essentiality or the importance of effective communication says that it helps us in decision making. Okay, so uh, better decision making, uh, it happens because since both the persons on the same platform, uh, so they uh, would create a uh, means uh, a mutual understanding or uh, they uh, consider or they cooperate due to which decisions uh, making will be better. And uh, to make them... Just wait a minute. So um, to make that uh, importance of effective communication, I would like to draw your attention towards a small uh, short clips, and then we'll discuss further uh, that uh, why importance of effective communication, why it is essential, why it is uh, so vital in everyone's life. Uh, uh, myself, uh, Giri, uh, my business analyst time, banking and insurance field me. Uh, uh, my analyst time, banking insurance field. Uh, क्या आपने कभी क्लास के साथ कम्युनिकेट किया है? वही तो तो क्लाइंट के साथ
Now we have seen that in this video that uh, there was a character whose name was Akash and he was dumped by his birth time. But still, as we have seen, uh, means due to some network issues, we couldn't able to play the video properly. Actually, the video conveyed that uh, even the disabled person also knows the essentiality or the importance of uh, effective communication. Okay, so as he had gone to apply for uh, a job in a company, so this, uh, he was been proficient. It means he has created a kind of a hand gloves, means conversation hand gloves, due to which he could able to uh, convey his thoughts, or he could able to convey his thoughts to the mode of, the mode of language. So uh, this, shows uh, this shows that actually we have been blessed, have been blessed, uh, blessed by the Almighty, but still we never give effort, so we never practice in our sense. So as uh, one of the proverbs said that practice makes a man perfect. So if you want. As we know that uh, we have been blessed by the Almighty, but still we don't give effort. We don't give uh, essentiality in that. So uh, if you want to uh, improve your skills, or if you want to improve your effective communication skills, we should have a good practice in it. And that shows in the particular uh, short video clips that uh, even the disabled person also were about, uh, aware about it. And uh, just because of that, he has invented, uh, he has just created a hand gloves, which can able to convey his message through uh, languages. Or he uh, means through that uh, mode or through that uh, machines, he could able to express his view, he can able to express, or he could able to work out in that particular company. Now, moving on to the next slide, that is what makes uh, communication ineffective means what are the barriers? What are the barriers? What are the barriers of uh, effective communication? Okay, so and uh, how to overcome from such barriers and uh, how to be an effective communicator. So well, the first point is about the emotion barriers and taboos. Uh, lack of attention, interest, distractions or irrelevance to the receiver physically disabled such as hearing problems or speech difficulties, physical barriers to non-verbal communications. So communication with the audience means overall that uh, communication with the audience, if we do not connect with the audience, then their attentions will uh, distract automatically and they won't focus what uh, had been said. Uh, secondly, we should to use the simple language, means not the tough or not the uh, highly uh, or rarely kind of a words in front of the uh, listener or in front of the receiver. So they uh, will get puzzled. So we have to be in a simple language. And if we use difficult words, okay. So it will uh, not easily understood by the listener. And uh, hence it may create problems and it is uh, uh, maybe uh, what to say it means the communications gap between the uh, sender and the receiver's one. Thirdly, we also should uh, means the body language is also very essential, which includes the feelings or the emotions as we have seen in the previous slide that that is also one of the mode or the medium of communications uh, through expressions, through gestures or uh, by affections and by loves also we can able to communicate to someone in a non-verbal manner. Okay, so body language also includes feelings and emotions and uh, one more thing is very essential. One more thing is very uh, vital uh, in effective communication. That's a smile. Should, should have a uh, smile carrying on your face. So that makes the uh, listener, the receivers feel comfort. And uh, they may have a, a, what to say means the feeling that you really cares him and is being listened to. Okay. Eye contact uh, should be maintained while communication. When the speaker is speaking, then uh, the listeners is being uh, direct eye contact in which the speaker realized and uh, he's being heard and will be motivated. Now, so uh, further, uh, we'll see. Further, we'll see that there are seven C's of effective communications and uh, which are completeness, consciousness, considerations, clarity, cons 
concreteness, courtesy, and correctness. So, uh, at last, uh, I would like to say that we have to practice and we have to be an effective communication, communicate actually, if we want to improve our skills. Otherwise, misunderstanding, misconcept or misperceptions may create, as you can see in the figure that the misconcept has been created. Uh, let me tell you one uh, another example that uh, a person means a visitor has visited to the hotel and he has asked to uh, the receptionist or the means uh, the department of the hotel that he would like to have the spicy chicken. Okay. And he has given it uh, through uh, telephones. He has given the message or he has uh, conveyed this particular message through telephones. And after a minute, the bell has been ringing off his uh, hotel, off his particular room. And when the waiter has entered, he ha was having a cock which was having spines on his forehead. Okay, so that uh, actually creates the mis uh, uh, concept or that creates actually the misunderstanding if we not communicate in a proper way, in an effective manner. So as we can see in the picture also that there are two figures which shows that the uh, miscommunications also happen and the misunderstanding happens when we are not in an effective manner. So at last, we must have self-awareness, we must have self-criticism, and due to which we can able to improve ourselves and we can able to empower ourselves and we can able to become a good communicator. Okay, and we can able to improve our uh, skills in communications. That's all, and now I'm signing off. Hope uh, you like this session. Okay, and uh, thank you so much for waiting so patiently and hearing my session. Thank you so much.